Hello everyone, my name is Stanislav Musichin and I'm a University of Waterloo PhD student in the group of Professor Kyle Dahn. My research topic is microwave plasma synthesis of graphene and its laser optical in situ characterization. The demand for graphene is rapidly growing due to its important roles in a wide range of applications, including electrocatalysts, supercapacitors, lithium ion batteries, and many, many others. However, according to the recent studies, there are only a few examples of economically profitable mass fabrication of high quality graphene. So one of the promising graphene production methods is gas phase microwave plasma synthesis. This is a schematic of a synthesis process. We produce graphene from ethanol vapor using microwave plasma. Ethanol is atomized with argon and then evaporated. The ethanol vapor is then introduced into the quartz tube through the nozzle where microwave radiation is focused and argon plasma is created, which in turn dissociates the precursor molecules into some smaller fragments. And then these fragments reassemble into a few layer graphene flakes downstream of a plasma region. This method is potentially scalable. It requires no substrate and leads to the production of high quality graphene. However, at the moment, we were only able to achieve about one to 2% yield. So we have a synthesis method, which is scalable, but we need to improve its efficiency. At the moment, very little is known about the synthesis itself, about transport and kinetic in situ process. Accordingly, there is a need for some in situ optical diagnostics to get insight into this graphene formation and growth kinetics. For that, we also need to learn the graphene optical and physical properties. There are a few laser optical diagnostics we are planning to deploy, and the first one, for example, is laser-induced incandescence. The idea behind laser-induced incandescence is the following. So this is a reactor with graphene aerosol produced inside. The nanoparticles in a probe volume are heated by the laser pulse to the temperatures high enough so they can emit detectable thermal radiation, incandescence. And then particles return to the ambient gas temperature via the various heat transfer mechanisms. Through the analysis of these detected signals, we can infer the quantities of interest, such as graphene aerosol concentration and particle surface area. Overall, this study aims to comprehensively investigate the fuel air graphene in situ. That would deepen the understanding of graphene formation kinetics during gas phase synthesis and its properties. The ultimate goal here is to find the indications on how to control the synthesis process and to increase its efficiency. Thank you.